Hello, good afternoon. I'm back. Um, this is the first so show episode I've done in about probably just over three weeks, three weeks, maybe a month now. So it's been a long time. I'm a little bit rusty. Um, sorry for the, the delay. It wasn't meant to take as long as it did. So basically, long story short, I moved into my girlfriend's and then um, took a while for her internet to get sorted. It only just got sorted literally last week, the end of last week. Um, before that, she had a download speed of 5.00. Now, the reason why she did that is she moved into my flat for a bit for us uh, to get used to living together before I moved into hers. And when she did that, she basically downgraded her broadband because her mom was the only one using it. She didn't really go on that much. So she just thought she'd save a couple of quid and downgrade her broadband. So when we moved in, we thought it'd be a simple process. First of all, I thought I could just cancel my plus net internet and they were like, no, but you can carry your services over. So I was like, okay, I'll just carry on my services. So in my head, I was like, we're just gonna have two internet providers in the same house. That wasn't possible. Um, and what Plusnet decided to do was cancel my girlfriend's internet connection with EE, even though she never asked, I never asked. They just decided to do that. So that delayed everything. We had to get, EE had to get um, Plusnet to stop and then Plusnet stopped and then EE took about two weeks to, to do their thing and we literally only got proper fiber internet literally about three or four days ago. So that's why it took so long. I would have I would have tried to do it on uh, on my on my mobile data, but um even when I tried to record on my mobile data, it was very stirring. So there was just nothing I can do about it. Um I, I recorded a couple of TW videos when I could um but i couldn't do like a regular schedule thing because it just it would just keep stuttering and stuff so it just wouldn't it wouldn't produce a very good video and i'm i'm, I'm not like exactly like um known for my top quality production but i always try and make an effort at least make it watchable for you lot because i hate it when i'm watching something on the internet and it keeps like buffering um so yeah but anyway onwards and upwards we should be back to a relatively regular schedule. So the plan moving forward is Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping to stick to this because I keep changing all the time. And I know it's probably annoying people, but Mondays and Tuesdays, I will be putting uploading um, Football Manager 24, so show, say. And then Wednesday and Saturday, it will be TW 2020 uh, Fight Club Pro. And then on the rest of the days of the week, which I think is Thursday and um, Thursday, Friday, and I think so I say sun, yeah, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Basically, I am going to start a new save on Football Manager. Hopefully, if I can get the database, um, with Build a Nation in Greenland. So um, Greenland aren't even an official Football Nation really yet. They're not on the I don't know in the FIFA rankings. So I'm trying to find a decent database. And I'm trying to find like somebody to make kits and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so that'll be a lot. That'll be the long term save moving forward up until FM25. And I might, I'll probably just try and carry on the Greenland save because let's be honest, it's not exactly something that's going to happen quickly. So um, I mean, I read, I went on Reddit earlier, and and somebody said that they um, they did 165 seasons in Greenland. And um, yeah, so it's going to take me a while. Hopefully I can get some sort of success in some way, even if it's like winning a winning a match with Greenland national team or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how, even if I can just get to like the, 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 the group stages of a European competition with a Greenland team, for instance, uh, I'll class that as a, probably a victory in itself. If I'm having fun, we'll carry on. If I'm not, we'll, we'll call it a day. I always want to make sure I'm having fun when I'm playing games. If I'm not, I'm not interested. That's why a lot of these saves I do on here die off at times because I just lose interest. I'm trying not to do that because I know it's off-putting for you lot. Um, anyway, I'm rambling on. This intro is literally only five minutes long, so I can only apologize. I just wanted to keep, I just wanted to clue everybody up what's been happening. So yeah, right, so in a minute we'll crack on with the social save and we'll do the first game of the episode. So yeah, thank you for listening. I hope I hope this long intro hasn't put you off watching the rest of the video. Hopefully you can stick with it and watch the rest. Anyway, back in a minute. 
Right, so here we are. Um, I'm a bit rusty on this day, so I'm going to have a look at the league table, just to jog my memory. Um, we played 28 games. We've got 46 points, five points behind Strasbourg. I feel like this is the season we really need to try and get promoted because um, I, basically what I've got, a, I've, I looked at the League One just now and you, Bordeaux's definitely getting relegated. Mets look like they're probably going to get relegated and then it's either... Nantes or Nantes, I can't remember how you pronounce them now. Um, Troyes or Montepella or Uxa or even Monaco. So if these teams go down, it's going to make it ridiculously difficult for us to get promoted next season. I don't really want to be spending too many seasons in League 2. I want to get in League 1 and try and stabilise the team there and then basically just become a talent factory for the bigger teams. Um, but always make sure that we stay in this division and just gradually get better and better and get up higher up the league. Like, like I said, the long-term aim is to win League One. Sorry, pardon me, with this team. So, but yeah, like I said, we've got, I think we've got one, two, three, four. We've got six games left, so we can get uh, 80, maximum 18 points. But obviously, it just depends on how we get on. Let's have a look at how our current form is. So it's not the best. If you look at this, the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, eight games we've won three, lost four, and drawn one. So it's not the best, but we hope. But anyway, we're playing Angers first game. They are second, so they won't be uh, an easy team to beat. I have missed this save though. Um, I haven't played it in, like I said, about three or four weeks, and I really enjoy doing this save. Oh, nearly scored already. Um, I was missing my boys. Trying to get, trying to do a couple of offline saves, and I just can't seem to get into the saves. I've, I've started a couple, I've, I've done a couple, but I've just literally done a season or two with a, a team in Sweden called, let me just get the word up here, IF Bromma Podge Karna. Um, they're quite famous for producing a lot of good Swedish players and stuff like that, and other players have come through, I can't remember, but just Google notable players from that team and that. You'll see a who's who really. But I just thought I'd try and do that save. I haven't done it as um a youth only save, but I have kind of just tried to concentrate on only buying like African players if possible. So trying to replicate um FC Nordic Nordus Strad or whatever they're called, um, who basically only buy Ghanaian well mostly buy Ghanaian players, don't they? So um yeah. And I've got a new laptop. I'm currently trying to get my files switching over from this laptop I'm on to my new one. So hopefully that will help make this run this game a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, it's taken a while to transfer all the files over and stuff like that because I've got a hell of a lot of files on my football Man uh, sports interactive folder. So we'll see how that goes, but I should be ready to go by tomorrow. Vaz with the goal. Nice start to the game. Um, I feel like I've got so much to talk about, but I ain't, I ain't really. I celebrated my 40, uh, 40th birthday last week. Um, went and saw my mates on Saturday night. We had a nice time. Had a good laugh. Uh, did not have a good laugh watching Scotland lose. I'm half Scottish, so I was not happy about that. Um, I did watch the England game last night. It's uh, about a bog standard performance, really. Um, but we managed to win. Good for Bellingham, lo local lad from Starbridge. I used to live near Starbridge. I went to Starbridge College, so nice to see somebody from Starbridge doing well. So yeah, so um, that's about it really. Like I said, I, not much has happened. I was I was quite ill for about three or four days. Barely ate anything. I had this flu that was going around, and all I wanted to do was sleep, and I didn't want to eat at all. Um, it was great. I lost six pounds, but as soon as I got my appetite back. Um, I'm not like lately. I'm not a massive eater. I know I'm. I know I'm a bit fat, but um, m my diet's a lot better than it used to be. But um, as soon as I started eating, all the weight went back on, which is really annoying. <laughs> so there wasn't there wasn't even anything good that come out of that flu. Uh, yeah. Right, one one. Let's see if we can get another goal before half time. I'm not half time. Sorry. For some reason in my head, I thought it was half time. Um, let's see if this VAR decision comes back to haunt us. What do you reckon, ref? Ah, that's a shame. Who have we got up from? Billy Lafont. Oh, okay. 
I feel like we're lacking in attacking positions at the moment. Most of my subs were like defensive players. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. I might have to call some players up from the youth team. Ah, oh, two on to Angus. Come on, ref. You did it to us. Now it's only fair that you do it to them. Come on. I bet, they, I bet he lets this go. Oh, okay, good. Well done, ref. At least you're fair. Right, 1-1 one, one wouldn't be a bad shout, really, to be honest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have an issue with that. I think overall, I think that's a fair result. There's not been any surprises yet in the Euros, has there? From what I, what I know of, which is weird, which is a shame, really, because World Cup was brilliant for surprises. Um, the Euros has gone pretty, it's, it's gone to plan so far, but we'll see. Right, corner to Angers. I feel like their team's way better than ours, but I really don't want to lose this game if I can help it. I don't want to start this episode with a bad result. 1-1 one, one would be a decent result, I'd say. We're defending well at the moment. Um, anybody playing really poorly? All right, let's take... Oh, no, we can't take any more players off. Um, happy Father's Day, by the way, to any of the fathers out there. Um, I wish my dad a happy Father's Day. I've seen him for my birthday, so I didn't see the point in seeing him for Father's Day. Because it was literally two days before Father's Day, so I gave him his Father's Day stuff then. Uh, and then I didn't text him yesterday. Yeah, 1-1. One, one, I'm all right with that. All right. See you in a sec. All right, we're now playing um, Laurent. Sorry, Lorient. I do apologise. Playing Lorient now. Um, let's see how we get on. I'm going to stop going through the lineup because it's pretty much the same lineup. We've only got a certain amount of players in the squad, so it's mostly going to be the same lineup every game, unless there's injuries and stuff. So there's no point in me keep going on. But I've eliminated that out of the videos. Some of you might like that, some of you might not. I like this uh, pink, bright pink kit of So Show. Oh yeah, by the way, just oh, one nil, get in. Go on, Kofi. Uh, 21st goal of the season for him. He's having a great season. Yeah, just to let everybody know, I am started doing mystery shirt unboxing, um, football shirt, sorry, mystery football shirt unboxings now. So um, they're on my YouTube channel. I've done two so far. I've reviewed six different companies, so if you want to look into that, feel free to watch. I would appreciate the support on that one. Um, they're not very long. They're about like I think they're about seven, eight minutes each one or something like that. They're not, like I said, they're not very long. Um, I won't obviously tell you which shirts I've got so far, but you know, there's some good ones to some not so good ones. So uh, depending on your point of view, really, like I said, you're not going to get the top teams every time um and stuff i did get one top team shirt though and it's really nice so i like that um i got a, a retro shirt i ordered a specific retro shirt now the problem i've got is i am mostly a 4xl in football shirts because i'm like 3xl and you always have to go a size bigger and um the retro shirt company that i use unfortunately they only go to a 2xl so the shirt i got is quite tight i mean now it's not an issue when I'm recording videos like this because you're not going to see my belly. Um, oh, we nearly got another one there. So yeah, so it's it's not that much of an issue, but it, I just don't like clothes being tight on me. I'm quite self-conscious of my belly, even though I'm trying to trying to lose weight. I've, I'm losing weight gradually, slowly but surely. But yeah, I'm a bit self-conscious, so I don't particularly. It's a good shirt. It's a nice shirt, and it's it it, it goes kind of well with um the theme of my youtube personality um you'll know why if you watch the second unboxing video because that's on the, the second one um so i'm going to do some more probably do one or two mystery box shirt um videos a month and then also um I'm, they're not going to be as frequent because it takes a while for them to get to me but um i'm going to order some i've ordered some 
some fake shirts basically from DH Gate and places like that. So I'll be reviewing them. I'm doing them simply for content and also it just gives me some different shirts to wear in my videos basically. They're not massively expensive. Um, some of the ones that I, I got specifically were mystery shirt, fake shirts, and they were about six quid each plus postage. So um, we'll see what I get with them. I'm quite excited just to see how, like which ones I get with them. Cause I, it's more like, I like the mystery of not knowing. Now a lot of people will be like, you're just gonna get rubbish. Yeah, probably I'm gonna get rubbish, but I don't care. Cause it's, it's just, it's like I said, it's just a bit of fun. Um, if I wanted to buy football shirts, that I really want to buy, then I'll buy the proper football shirts, basically. I got this Man United shirt that I've wanted for a while now. This one's from a couple of years ago. I got it for 20 quid in TK Maxx yesterday, um, which I don't think is that bad, to be honest. I think 20 quid for Man United shirt. It feels nice on me. It fits nicely, 3XL. So yeah, so I'm slowly but surely trying to collect Man United shirts, whether they're fake or real, because some of the retro ones, um, they won't have them in my size anyway. So it's one of them. But the, the there's one bloke in China I spoke to who I was who got recommended by quite a few people on the Facebook group I was in. So I'm gonna get some of them the end of this week, maybe next or probably the start of next week actually. So just keep an eye out for these videos. If you wanna see how close they are to the real thing, now I'm not condo I'm not like condoning um football shit like fake football shirts it's it's up to you if like i said it's a bit of fun i will say this though it is ridiculous how much um proper football shirts like the authentic football shirts are these days like you're looking about 80 90 quid for a football shirt it's ridiculous I'm not paying it so you know it forces people like me who can't afford it to to go down the fake shirt route now obviously these fake shirts they don't last very long they probably don't feel as good as the the, the proper ones but like I said, I'm just buying them for a bit of content for you lot and um, it just gives me some football shirts to wear for my videos when I'm doing my football manager stuff. So yeah, but anyway, keep an eye on them. Um, anyway, I'm rambling on about everything other than the game. We are winning 2-1. What concerns me is we're only winning 2-1, but anyway, we might get another goal here. Oh, that was a beautiful pass. Kofi with his second, uh, 22nd goal of the season. This 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 pink kit works really nicely for us. It seems to be a good uh, a good omen for us. I don't think I, I don't think I've done a game with them in this kit yet. It must be the third kit. I'll have a look in a sec. But it's a nice shirt. If it's uh if it's available in real life, I might try and buy it. So I've got club info. Oh yeah, it's this one here. It's like a purpley. It's like a bright pink. What they call hot pink maybe. Um, but yeah, it's a good one. It looks similar to the Wraith Rover shirt that I, I was wearing. I like, I'm a, I'm a man who likes pink and purple. Um, but yeah, right, I'll see you in a sec. All right, so here we are. We are now playing Brest. Um, next, uh, let's see how we get on. We've, uh, we've not lost the game yet, so we're probably due one. We've drawn one, 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 so you know what will probably happen in this game. Um, we're two points behind Strasbourg now, so the dream is still on at the moment. Depends on how Strasbourg do. But let's just concentrate on... Have they got Azil? That can't be the Azil uh, Aqueta former Chelsea player, surely. They've got Van Persie there as well. It's obviously not Robin Van Persie, but it must be his son, Shaquille. Right, let's have a look. Rest stats. Oh, they have as well. Oh my God, he's still playing football. We're in 2027. So he's 30, he's only he's 37. I, I thought he was 37 when he left Chelsea. So he left Chelsea in 2023-24 season. Went to Atletico Madrid for a year, and then obviously on the game got released, and then has played for Brest. Fair play to him. I didn't think it was the real one. I thought it was just uh, like a, a regen or something. They seem to be the better team so far. I mean, granted, it's only 14 minutes play, but uh, we haven't had a highlight go our way yet. I think it's all been it's been all breast. All right, Didot loses the ball there. Not good. He had a good game last game as well. Um, one of the fake shirts I've all I've, I, that's coming uh, probably the end of next week is that. 
Bob Marley Ajax shirt. It looks amazing. If the fake one looks like 80, 90% as good as the real one, I'll be well chuffed. It looks like such a good shirt. I've ordered the last season's Inter Miami home and away shirt, um, the new Man United home and away shirts. Um, I will get the authentic Man United shirts because obviously I, I don't mind giving them my money, even though I don't really want to help the Glazers and make more money. Um, but I, I just I will because it's my own club. But I'm just waiting for it to go down in price. I might wait till the end of next season, at the end of the, the season coming up to get them when they're a lot cheaper, like I usually do with the home shirts. I don't mind being a season behind, it don't bother me. I don't really like that Snapdragon logo. But yeah. But not too bad, isn't it? Going back to the mystery shirts, uh, I'm quite, I'd say, I'd say seven out of 10 so far on the ones that, there was one that looked nice, but wasn't particularly a, a, like a, a well-known team. Um, and I looked at how much you could buy it. Um, it's actually not available for sale. It's 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 one from about ten years ago from a German team. Um, that's all you're getting from me. Watch the video to find out. But it's a really nice shirt. It's a purple one with a gold little trim on it. Puma one. Problem with Puma is the Puma shirts a bit tight on me. So that, that's the problem. I'm determined. One of the main motivations for me to lose weight is to buy football shirts that fit me better. To buy clothes in general that fit me better. So. Um, and obviously for my long-term health as well. Um, at my worst, I was 25 stone. I'm now 20, 21 stone and nine pounds at the moment. So it's been a slow progression. I want to just try and speed it up a bit. I've downloaded this app I used before called My Fitness Pal. Uh, it's a really good app when it comes to calorie counting and it tells you like how much sugar you've eaten for the day. Um, I'm going to try and drink more water. Uh, I go to the, I walk to the gym three times a week. I do that. Um, it's only like forty minute walk to the gym, but I also walk my dog twice a day, so that's another like forty minutes, twenty minutes both journeys. So yeah, so not too bad. And obviously, I can always do more. Ah, oh, balls. Kofi's injured. They're saying Bossy can play as a striker. I don't think so. Put the bat there, and then what we'll do is. We are really lacking in strikers, aren't we? Uh oh. <gasps> There's been some good goals in the Euros this year, isn't there? Um, I've only watched one full game, and that was the Scotland game. I didn't bother watching the whole England game. I just watched the highlights. Uh, mostly because, because England played at 8 o'clock at night and I go to bed. I'm an, old, I'm an old man now. I go to bed about half 8, 9 o'clock because my girlfriend gets up at 6 a.m. So I go to bed the same time as her and I get up the same time as her. Or I get up earlier than her actually because I get up for the dog. So my body clock is just used to going to bed about 9 o'clock, getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I just knew if I started watching England game, I'd have fallen asleep, especially by the looks of it. It wasn't exactly the most entertaining game in the world. Watching the highlights, so I probably, probably did me a favour. I tried to watch, when me and my girlfriend tried to watch um, WWE Clash at the Castle last night, I, I watched the Cody AJ Styles match and then I fell asleep during the, yes, get in, I fell asleep during the, um, the, the the next match, which was the triple threat tag team match with the women. Not that it was a boring match. I was just I was just out for the count. I was just so tired. Um, so I've got to watch that. I've got to watch the rest of Clash of the Castle tonight. I know the results, so I know what happens. So it's not it's not too bothered. It just I don't tend to keep away from spoilers because I'm not that bothered about things getting spoiled for me. My dad is terrible for that. Whenever he watches a football match, he purposely tries and avoids any like finding out the results because if he doesn't watch the game live, he likes to watch it later at night when he can have a, when he can relax a bit and have a drink. And uh, yeah, oh, I just noticed we're in the we're in the playoffs now. We're in the playoffs, everyone. We've four games left, so that's really good. Wasn't even paying attention to the game, but we won one 0 like I said, I'm a bit rusty. I feel like I've got a lot to talk about, which is probably not that much for anybody else. But um, 
that will change. Kofi's out for two or three weeks. That's so annoying. Just at the time of the season where we really need him. But hopefully he'll be back for the playoffs at least. Uh, I won't holiday in for the next game. There's only two days left. So we'll just go through this as quickly as possible. Rodez next. We should beat these convincingly. Then again, I've said that many times before. So we're two years ahead of schedule. We've passed it, so that's good. The board will be happy. The fans will be happy. Uh, I've asked for a few requests, but the, the finances at the moment are really bad. So here's where we are at the moment financially. We're 5.5 .5 million in the red. Projected to be, oh, not too bad, 2 point. So we're project, in the next three years, we're projected to be 12 million. Now, oh, let's have a look. Is this worth cashing out? Not really. Um, no, no, transfer history. I made 4.9 million last year from transfers. So if I can do that again, if I'm going to do that mostly, mostly because I've sold Tete, who was an exceptional talent. Um, if we look here, I made 1 million last year, 3.1 the year before, 500. So like this was a decent season. Um, but yeah, like if you look at the squad, if we go here and we go general info. So our main, our most valued players is Labat, Gill, Didot, Fatar, Curse, and probably Kofi. Kofi's injured at the moment. But like, if I if I manage to sell, say, like one of these at least for decent money, then I've cleared the debt basically. So I might have to sell one or two if we don't get promoted. Obviously, that all changes if we get promoted because you get more money being in the top division. So it'll balance things out. But we'll see. We'll, we'll, we will see. Um, yeah. I was going to say something, but I can't remember what I was going to say. I go on autopilot during this, by the way, which probably frustrates everybody because I go way too quick. I can't wait to play Football Manager on my new laptop. So my new laptop, it's um, MSI Vector. So it cost me 1,800 quid from Chris. So feel free to have a look at the system, system specs on there. This, this laptop I've got here is very quick. I've only had it for about two or three years, but um, the fan, I think, has broke on it or something inside because it just seems to like pick and choose when it wants to perform quickly. So I just thought the, the writing's on the wall, really. So I decided to get a new one. But yeah, the new one's got a better processor, literally better everything, better, bigger hard drive. More like, The RAM's about the same, but I can get the RAM out of this one and put it in the new one, hopefully, or just buy a new RAM. RAM's not massively expensive these days. Right, so we've got Fatal back, so that's good. And we've got Fatal on the font up front. Kofi obviously injured. Hopefully we can still beat Rodez. We've got a much better team, so we should be able to. Yeah, one point ahead of Strasbourg now, so the, the heat is on us. Oh, they're the team that's got Bradley Danger. What a name for a player. Oh, my God, did we just give him a... Oh, I thought we gave him a penalty then. This is worrying me a bit. This defensive calamity here. We're going to lose the ball. What are you doing, lads? Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're going to score here. Oh, just, it just hit his head. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That cracked me up. Sorry. Easily pleased, mate. That was hilarious. Um, speaking from experience, I've been in goal when I've played football in the park with mates as a kid and getting whacked in the face with a football. It's not fun. So um, my condolences to pop out there. Probably gave him a concussion. Uh, as, as as usual, playing badly against the bad team, uh, the, the worst teams in the league. Oh God, we've got a player called Benoit. I hope it's not Chris Benoit. Ooh, great wrestler burst. Absolute scumbag of a human being. Ooh. Uh, we're going to have to take him off already. Never good to have your best left back having to come off. 20, 25th minute. Luckily, Strasbourg is not winning, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're losing as well, so it's not the end of the world if we lose this game. Strasbourg lose. God, look how many players are knackered already. It's not even half time. What's going on, lads? If they get another one, we're screwed. Good clearance. Right, go on. Ah. Right. Separate them, see what happens here. Right, we need to take a few players off actually. Funzel needs to come off. We can't take him off at the moment. Take Didot off though. Uh, 
Uh, Galvez, what can we put on for you? They can't take you off. You, you two are just going to have to linger on, really. Strasbourg in, back in their game. Let's have a look. Now, yeah, they're 1-1 now, so we need to get an equaliser. But uh, we can't take any more subs off now. Uh, let's go very attacking. Let's push these forward. Come on. Catch them on the break here. No, they've got a corner. That's not what we want to see. We want Harlock to beat us. It's because they've got Bradley Danger. That's what it is. He's the, uh, the reason why they're winning. Come on. Get this out. That's it, good. That's it, get out. Not give it back, for God's sake. There you go, led to nothing. Come on, we've got 10 minutes left. We really need to get an equaliser here. Still 1-1 one, one in the Strasbourg game. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I think we'll be equal on points, maybe. I mean, Galvez is absolutely screwed here. He's literally <laughs> same as uh, Kunzler, bless him. I'm going to have to rest some players for the next game. I can't even do a, tea, a, a shout. I don't understand why it, it only lets you do shouts in certain times in the game. You wouldn't have that in real life. You really wouldn't. Oh, that was a great bit of control by Fatah. Unfortunately, he loses the ball, gets it back. Oh, that was a terrible pass, though. Come on, lads. You're missing an opportunity here. Come on. We just need one good chance and we can get back in this game. Oh, that was a beautiful ball. Oh, come on. That was our chance. By the way, when I went and saw the new Bad Boys film um, last, not last week, the week before, I highly recommend it. It's really, really good. It's a lot better than the third film. It's, uh, yeah, I recommend it. Oh, I can't believe we lost that game. Yeah, we're back to being bloody six, but we're neck and neck on points, so it's not the end of the world. we just got to hope that Strasbourg mess up at some point. Right, I'll see you in a sec. So we've now got... Um, um, I think that's how you pronounce them. I remember finding the proper a couple of episodes ago. I remember trying to find finding the proper interpretate uh, the proper pronunciation of it. Pronunciation of it. I think mean, it is calm. Oh, we've got we've got some clauses we could possibly catch out. That's not worth it. That's not worth it. That's not worth it. <sighs> we'll leave them. Right. So we've got how many games we've got left? We've got ooh, we've only got two games left now. Strasbourg's the last game of the season. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? We beat Khan. Ah, we're three points behind Strasbourg now. We've got a game ahead of them. So if we win this game, we'll be neck and neck on points. Um, depending on how many goals we score without conceding, we, we better have a better goal difference than them. Oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. It's going to be a playoff final in itself, the last game of the season. We really need Kofi back for that last game, hopefully. Right, so, uh, Strasbourg aren't playing today, so we don't need to keep an eye on the scores, I don't think. Unless there's other teams that are near there as well. First highlight, unfortunately, looks like it's going into Khan. Unless we can get the ball off them. They look a bit pressured. There we go, great interception by Kunzler. Did up with the ball. Come on, we're up for this game, lads. That's it. Thierry, will I turn? Like bloody Thierry Henry. Gregory Thierry. Um, unfortunately, Gregory Thierry and also Rene Didot are complaining about not being played in their right positions and right roles. So we might look at cashing in on them too because um, if they're not happy, we might as well just get rid of them, try and make some money. And then that way, if we get rid of them too, it, I mean, yeah, it will be a bit annoying because they are good players, but they are re they are replaceable. And it will help the finances and it also leaves some space for a, a new superstar to come along from the youth team. Go on. Oh, imagine if we were 2 0 up after eight minutes. Right, free kick to us for Tar. I don't know who that was to for Tar, but we get it back. Go on, have another go. Oh, Terry's up for it. He wants another one. All right, let's have a look. I don't think Str oh, Strasbourg are playing. They're bloody winning. We're neck and neck on points with them at the moment. Um, their goal difference is better than ours, though. So 
we need to get some more goals without conceding or hope that they concede a few more. Good interception there. Go on, Didot. I feel like he's going to lose. Oh, no, no. Oof, sits over by the goalie, I think. No, fair enough. Oh, if you haven't watched Baby Reindeer yet, I highly recommend it, but it is very, very uncomfortable and awkward at times. Um, so, yeah, just be, just be warned, there is some graphic um, scenes of sexual abuse in there, so just be very careful about watching it if it sets off triggers or trauma, whatever it is. But, yeah, it's very uncomfortable, but it's a very good show. And then watch the interview with the real life. Yeah, get in, 2-0. Um, watch the interview with Piers Morgan with the real Martha, the woman who actually apparently stalked him in real life. She's, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know whether it's 100% true what the guy is saying. We don't know. There's his version and her version, and then there's a tr the truth, which is probably a bit in the middle. But yeah, definitely highly recommend that you watch it. Go on, let's get another one, lads. Come on. Oh. Come on, Bastion, get the ball back. Oh god, if they if they get a goal here, that's gonna be a nightmare for us. That was just that was just ridiculous. The players just backed off and backed off there. Two one. Got a sinking feeling we're not gonna win this now. Let's have a look at the latest score in the Strasbourg game. Let's just leave it on here and we can keep an eye on it then. We could do with Kong Kanyu getting a getting a goal or two, maybe getting a equally well, making it free free. Especially if we're going to lose this game. Come on, thank God for pop out. Good save. Right, let's take Gil off. Put Tybold on. I can't really shout at them because we're still winning. I don't want to mess up the morale too much because in case they end up down in tools completely. Uh, who do we... Right, okay. I think that's all of our subs. Oh, no. We can take... Oh, Kofi's back. He's on the bench. Uh, right, okay. What I'm going to do then is... No, I'm not going to risk it. I'll leave it for now. Right, come on. Let's get another one. Let's match Strasbourg for goals in a game at least. Go on, that's it. No, no, don't give him a chance to equalise, for God's sake. We are cursed in this game. I just, I've got a feeling we're just never going to get further than where we are. Oh, that was a beautiful ball. Thunstead possibly onside, hopefully onside. Yeah, go on, Kunzler. Well, the flag ain't gone up, so that's good. It was a great ball, that was. All right, so we've matched them 3-1. Yeah, 3-1. They're still winning 3-1. Uh, at least we've still scored. At least we've scored the same amount of goals. Get in. I'm happy with that. Right. So let's have a look at state of play now. Uh, let's go through this. Ah, Fatah's injured. It's all right. Kofi's back for the last game of the season, so that's all that matters to me. Right. So we're neck and neck on points. They've got one goal more than us. So you know. We need to win. We can't draw because if we draw, they'll just be in the playoffs. So it's a must-win game next game. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back in a sec with the most important game of the season coming up. Right, here we are. Most important game of the season so far. Um, we are playing Strasbourg, who are um, one goal ahead of us in goal difference, neck and neck on points. So we've got to win by two goals, I think. Um, I don't know what happens if we win 1-0. I can't remember. We'll be neck and neck on points and neck and neck on goal difference. I don't know how it works. Um, both our strikers aren't fully fit when they're playing today. So we'll have to substitute them at some point. But the balance is not 100%, but he's on the bench. But we've got Labatt. We've got Lafont as well. Lafont's looking like a, a really good player in the making, to be honest. But yeah, let's just see. Hopefully Kofi and Fatah can make an impact straight away. And then it will help make the game a little bit easier but yeah we we on we are oh this might help is he gonna get a red card in the six oh okay all right i'm not saying we're gonna win 
but that's helped us greatly. That is a good start to the game. Right, free kick to us just outside the box. Kunzler lines it up. Was it Gil? No, Kunzler. Just over. It's all right. Yeah, we are the... Well, I was going to say we are the underdogs at the start of the game. Strasbourg are the better team, better known club. But now they've had a man sent off. We better win this game. We've got no excuses now. Kunzler. Kunzler, get in! 1-0. Right, if it stays 1-0, we're in the playoffs, everyone. From looking at the league table right now. We've got Angers, Orleans and Socho. Um, and I think, I don't know who, I don't know how that works. I think it's a team, oh, I can't remember how it all works. I know if at some point we've, we've got to play one of the teams that are potentially going to get relegated. See, it doesn't necessarily mean, even if we win the initial playoffs, it doesn't mean we're going to get promoted because we've got to then play the team that's going to be in the relegation playoffs in the uh, league on. So we've still got our work cut out for us, but at the moment it's 1-0. We're doing well. We're all over them. They haven't had, they've only had one shot on target. They've, had, they've got a 0 0.00 XG. Let's hope it stays that way. I'll be really annoyed if this goes 1-1. One, one. Right, Didot is not playing particularly well, so we'll take him off. Um, actually, no, we won't. We'll just give him a kick up the backside. Same with you, Gil. Who else is not playing particularly well? That's it, really. But Kofi needs to come off. Put Baz on. Right, I don't mind just grinding out this 1-0 win, but we've got another opportunity by the looks of it. Galvez knows how to cross the ball, gives it to Tybold. Tybold floats the ball in. Get it in, go on, Lafont. See, Lafont's starting to do really well. He's starting to become a really good player. Right, we can't take any more players off, that's fine. Just going to praise the team. Oh, God, here we go. That'll be really annoying if it ends up 2-2 after all this. That's fine. Good. Go on, Kunzler. Vaz on the break now. Just waste a bit of time. In fact, oh, look at that for a bit of techers. Beautiful ball. Yes, go on. Ah, oh, come on, VAR. Do us a favour. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. It's okay, though. It's okay. Right, I don't. We need to waste a bit of time. There we go. We need to do a bit of Top class shit house here. Corner to us. Didoc, can we get another goal in here? I don't know what would have happened if they had a full team. I'm not complaining. It's um I'm just buzzing we're in the playoffs. Whatever happens, if we don't go up, we don't go up. Obviously, I want to go up, but at least we're progressing as a team. Um, we're now in the playoffs. So next season, hopefully we can get in the playoffs again, but it's gonna be tough if we don't get promoted this year. It's going to be tough. But if we do get promoted, it's going to be even tougher, I'd say. I don't think the team is ready yet to play in League 1, but I'm not complaining if we do. Kunzler, come on, you can do that now. Right, let's get this game over and done with now. Yeah, there we go, lads. Great result. Who spotted Keane, Robbie Keane, Kunzler. Is Fiorentina boss? Is he? I didn't even know he was a manager. Who's he managed before? Uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv, LA Galaxy. I oh, know that was as a player, wasn't it? I oh, know, yeah, that was a player. So he's managed Maccabi Tel Aviv and then went to Fiorentina. Fair play. Uh, yeah, he's after Kunzler. I don't really particularly want to sell Kunzler, so let's try and offer him a new contract. Annoyingly, uh, Kunzler wants us to um, bring in a, cent a central defender, but that's not going to happen. But anyway, um, I'll be back in a minute with the playoff game. Right, we've got Orleans in the playoff quarterfinal. Fortunately, um, Popout is injured, so 
that worries me because he's a decent goalkeeper, don't get me wrong, but he's not really played much. He's only two stars, but we'll see. Um, Bossy is left back. Matthews is centre mid defence. So we're, we're quite, I think, I feel like we're lacking in certain, I think some of the like, our main players are injured. Monin is on the wing, so he's not really played much. We haven't got Kofi in the team, so he must be injured. No, he's not injured, he's just not fully fit yet. So he'll come on. I mean, yeah, we haven't really got much of a squad here by looks at In fact, what I'm going to do before I start this game, I'm just going to promote some players. Oh, let's do this first, get this done. Right, so uh, let's see if this makes any difference. And then, where is it? Tactics. No, it's training. There we go. Right, it's made a bit of a difference. Okay. I, think, I don't know if it's better. I think it's better. Well, it looks a bit. Um, yeah, Kofi's up front. I don't know why it's made that much of a difference, but yeah, so we'll just do that. So that looks like a strong team. Kofi probably won't be able to play the whole game, nor Vaz, because they're both not good. Fatar is fully fit, though. Um, so let's just see how we get on. Yeah, Vaz and Kofi lacking in match sharpness, so I don't know whether that'll be a good, bad thing for us. Hopefully that we'll be able to uh, get a couple of goals in this game. This I don't know. I don't know what to expect against Orleans. Um, they've been a bit of a bogey team for us, but I do feel like we're the better team. We will see. First highlight looks like it's going to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, they've got Viltard, our former player. Oof. That made, that made me very nervous straight away. Right, let's try encouraging the players, see if that'll help in any way. Tybold and Didot playing well so far. We seem to be, stats-wise, the better team. We've had five shots free on target. Kofi not playing very well. Corner to us. Come on, Kofi. Ah, oh, where is he? Fortunately, defended well there. Galvez still has the ball. Gives it to Gunard. Oh, Bastian, what are you doing? Right, we get it back though. Did up. I feel like we're just going to lose the ball here because there's no direction. There we go. Go on, Fatar. Loop it in. No. no somebody just pull the trigger, please. All this build-up play and nothing's going to come out of it. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. We've got a penalty. Now, is this going to stand, though? Let's see what VAR says. VAR says, penalty awarded. Get in. Go on, Kofi. Right, Kofi with the penalty. He doesn't score all the penalties here. So, we're, yeah. <laughs> right, it was on the wall, wasn't it? Right, berate you, Kofi. You, you should have scored that goal. I'm very harsh. I know you should be like a bit nicer to people who've just missed a penalty, but we can't be having you doing that, mate. No, I'm ignoring that. He's gonna he's gonna get back in this game. I know he is. I've got every faith in him. Right, it's still nil-nil, so it's not the end of the world. Like, if you give Kofi a decent chance, he'll score. Uh, maybe not. Right, okay, I'm going to take Kofi off. Uh, LaFonce can come on. Who else is playing poorly? Bernard, you can come off. We'll put Matthews on. Guitar, you can come off. Put on Monin. Right, we'll leave that for now, just in case we get any injuries. Free kick to us. Didot lines it up. He's going to shoot here. I don't think so. I think this is indirect. I think he's going to ping it in. He's taking his sweet time. Yeah, he does. Pings it in. Get in. Go on, Bastion. That's what we want to see. 1 0. Inspired substitution by me. Not that, it, not that it, the substitutes had anything to do with that goal, but you know.
Right, I'm happy with the one-nil win here. Let's just grind this out. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh no. God's sake, I thought that was it then. Oh no. Oh, why can't we just win a game just 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 oh, so frustrating. Oh, we were a few seconds away there from progressing. I mean, fair play to them. They have got back in the game. Right, let's try and demand a bit more here. Bossy. Terry gives it to Didot. Didot, unfortunately, can't get the ball through. I've got a feeling Viltar's going to score the winning goal in this game and just absolutely break our hearts in the process. That's beautiful ball. Oh, come on, LaFont. That's fair play to you. He's fighting for this team here. He wants to... He wants us to win this game. I do not want this to go to penalties. My my nerves cannot handle this. Ugh. Thank God for that. Right, we can take another player off. Goalie or defensive midfield. Right, Thierry will have to come off then. Right, that's all of our subs used up. Bossy with the throw in, gives it to uh, Abdu and Labat loses it unfortunately. Now, yeah, we get back. Thank God for Matthews. Right, Matthews, don't lose the ball now. Labat says keep control. Let's get to the end of this first half of extra time. Oh, here we go. Go on, morning, 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 morning. Sorry, morning. Oh, I oh, thought that was it then. Ah, come on. Did up with the corner. Right, what can he do? Floats it up. Waste of a corner. Absolute waste. <sighs> yeah, we, we, we just got to hope for the best now. I really don't want to go for penalties. Uh, in fact, push these forward. And... What we'll do is we'll go attacking. Oh no, attacking. We don't want to be very attacking just in case. They've got a free kick though. With a few minutes left, they score this. We're not getting back in the game. They're going to score here. They're going to score. There you go. I just knew it. I just flipping knew it. <sighs> we were literally seconds away from getting uh, win this game. Oh. I'm so annoyed right now. I'm so fed up with this team. Well, that's that, everyone. Who's spotted here? Signy, he wants... Yeah, we've got a lot of players that are wanted. Ah, oh, to get into the playoffs near the end of the season, to literally be seconds away from getting through. Just curious who... Um, let's have a look at the schedule. I just want to see who Orleans are playing next. Uh, schedule. So they're playing Angers. We, we, I think we beat Angers when we played them, or did we? Played them recently. No, we drew one one. But oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, thank you for watching for this season. Next season, we go again. I'm, I'm going to probably have to sell some players to balance the books. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. So next episode will be the start of the next season. I will just do a quick summary of the transfer window and pre-season, and then we'll just crack on with next season. We go again. Now, we got in the playoffs this season, so it's a plus. We've done better than we did last season. Next season, we've got to get in the playoffs again at least. It's going to be difficult because, like I said to you before, Let's have a look. Who definitely got relegated? So, yeah. So Mets and Bordeaux got relegated, and then not uh, Nantes or Nantes, or whatever you pronounce them, they are in the playoff, uh, the relegation playoff. So they might end up going down as well. But even just Bordeaux and Mets, it's just going to make it really difficult for the rest of us to get even get in the playoffs. But yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But um, yeah. 
it's just one of them things in it i don't know what else to say but thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and um feel free to like the video leave a comment as well i don't get many comments about the so show save so if you are watching it just let me know you know good or bad let me know um you know like i said anything you want me to improve on when it comes to the videos or uh, in general but yeah i'll leave you to it thank you for watching we, we, we were it was a it was a good it was an entertaining episode i'd say um let's hope next season is a lot better but anyway see you soon all the best